Hello my treasures, it's time for the pack opening for the March of the Lich King set after a few delays because it was a little bit bugged. So let's begin. We're actually going to start with the signature cards just because I don't really care too much about them. We'll see if we can actually get any legendaries, which would be really cool, but you never know. Ooh, uh, epic. Oh, maybe these aren't... they're golden... okay. You're not guaranteed signature cards, you're just guaranteed goldens. I prefer the goldens to be honest oh shit already a legendary and in a golden pack okay now is this going to be a legendary or a signature card i mean golden oh yeah that's actually one of the cards that i wanted the most out of this entire set getting him in golden is great I very much doubt we're going to open up a golden legendary in the normal packs, but you never know. We shall see. I'm actually really looking forward to Armored Druid, so getting that as our first legendary of the set is probably one of the better options. There's other cards that we could get, but I prefer that just to try it out. I don't know if or Armored Druid... Okay. Eh, this is fine. Pretty nice though overall. Okay, well now let's start with the normal packs. See if we can get anything cool. OTK Hunter with that card is maybe something else to try. Oh shit! Two legendaries again. Okay, uh this <laughs> back ending is going to be a lot better than the previous. Leandrin is one that I'll probably use. The other one, I don't know how much I'm going to. If he had Taunt on, it would be a lot better, but... Holy shit, three legendaries already? Biggest set ever? Oh, man. I mean, I guess we could hover over them to see what we get. Depends on how long I actually want. Concoctions is an deck I wanted to try. A lot of those cards are something to try out. I really want to do something with Demon Hunter, I think, first, just because I haven't done anything with Demon Hunter in like two, three months. Because they didn't get any new cards in uh, the Knights of the Frozen Throne. Okay, so one epic. Perfect. That's what we wanted to see. I don't know if this is going to be any use right now. Good control tool. It's just. Need something good combo with it to be used in out other decks besides control. Okay, we're just gonna... Well, we could hover over them. Because there are going to be... Okay. Then towards that... Ooh, a golden rare. Finally, an 8 cost spell for mage. Oh shit, a legendary already. <laughs> I mean, one of the combo cards that I really wanted to mess around with. I I think he's going to be used in combination with Sire, probably for the most part. But uh, there might be some other wacky combos that you can do. I wonder if there's enough. Oh, another legendary already. Okay, we're getting that luck this time around. Ooh, Dragon Paladin. I just did it, but that would be something interesting to go back to. And then the double arcane spells. I really do like how there's going to be a lot more combo decks this set, it feels like. In theory, even though there's a bunch of more hate than normal. Man, our luck so far has been ridiculous. I think the legendary chance has actually been up because of uh, signature cards existing. Oh, just, how many double legendaries are we going to get? Future side and Ultis. Future side, I really want to use Ultis. 
could be interesting depending if you <laughs> figure it out. Something to do. Man. Yeah. Oh, Golden Epic. Ooh, one that we can actually use. That could be a fun deck to try to use with the... There's a Questline Shaman deck I really want to test out. I think Tuesday will probably be... I'm going to put up a video where I theorycraft a bunch of decks. Only 40 cards in, or like 20 or so packs in, and we have like seven legendaries. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had this amount of luck when it comes to this. I had been on a downward spiral. If you compare to the very first pack opening I put on the channel to the last one. I think we actually already have hit the count that I had in the last pack opening. And I should have enough dust, I'm pretty sure. The other side is again an art card that I really want to test out, even though I know it's probably going to be pretty bad. If you find a ways to get additional Alakirs or other minions while using it in combination with some other cards it could be incredibly good but i don't know there's a lot of different combo decks that i can think of with this set and what i was saying before is i think i'm going to put out a technical theory craft video on tuesday just like a maybe a deck for each class to try out on day one I haven't actually watched any of the pre-launch event or the uh, set. So I don't actually know what decks people were running in that and what ones they weren't. Only downside with them doing the pre-events and not being invited is the fact that you're always going to be behind on content by like a week. Fire Warrior, technically, I don't know. I, I wish Fire Warrior had some type of other gimmick besides just being in Rage Warrior 2.0, but this is fine, I guess. Because right now it's either Control or in Rage Warrior or your two. I guess Questline Warrior also exists. That card definitely will see a lot of play. That is actually kind of cool. Maybe we can get a really neat little uh, armor druid deck going. Okay. Ooh, speaking of armor druid. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Both of the rodents. I think we have all the commons now. I think that marks the end of because i think i noticed uh three of right there pretty sure we opened up the rodent okay oh plague spreader i really do wonder if this is a uvo reference or not i get it it's scourge and technically it doesn't have to be but it reminds me of a lot of plague spreader zombie fell this card at some point is going to be broken i don't know if it's going to be this set but it definitely will be somewhere in the future i'm actually kind of curious of how the scythe works if you only run like two of the same minion and one other minion if you can actually okay there's another one of that because if you can do it like that then you're going to be able to consistently get a bunch of spell damage minions on board if you figure out ways to like duplicate them. Which Demon Hunter doesn't really have that many ways to duplicate, but you might be able to find a way.
I'm actually kind of shocked we haven't even ran into one uh, signature card that's a rare or a common because I know some of them exist. Maybe they're just disabled. That would be funny. I prefer them not because supposedly they don't look that good in game because they don't have any type of animation. A discard warlock is another deck I want to try out. I don't know how. There we go, and our legendary. Okay, Devourer of Souls. There's. I don't know if there's actually anything around that you can actually do. The deck that it technically fits in, it just. Okay, another epic. Let's go. Okay. We already have three Time Wardens, don't we? Does that mean we have all the epics? That can't be right. Or is the protection just not on for epics right now? Huh. Or am I thinking of a different dragon that I saw like a second one of? Oh, we'll just keep on going. Okay. Yeah. That could see some uses in like a mirror match. Or, um. Actually, there's a lot of buffs in this set, but they're aura buffs, so I don't know how useful it's going to be in the long run. If Naga Priest becomes even more of a threat than it already is, then it might be a little bit troublesome. But. Okay, another epic. Two rares, man. Oh, the other side. Really do want to do something with that card. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could, in theory, do with it, especially if you stick it into, like, a questline shaman deck. Which, is, I'm kind of sad that they didn't actually print that many additional overloaded cards for this set because that card will be rotating out soon and it never really got anywhere. I think it was good like month one but they nerfed it before it became too much of an issue and then they decided to never print anything for it. Okay. Animate dead and oh the slime. That actually might be a lot of fun especially with the other legendary that we don't have. All right, I think we used all of our fuck in the first half, but that's fine. Okay. I was going to say, I don't... Oh, there was the second slime, but... I don't think we've been getting many Death Knight cards, but then I remembered we have gotten a few. Okay. See what we can grab. It's gonna keep on doing this. Oh, and our epic underking. Perfect for our armor through a deck. Curious of what the final name of that deck is gonna be. I really do hope it's something like. Ooh, okay. Or discard. I hope it's going to be, I don't know, something like Beetle Druid or maybe just Guardian Druid. That would be real nice. But I don't know how many people who, or how big the overlap is between WoW and Hearthstone. It used to be pretty big, but I don't know what it is nowadays. And I think we're approaching the end of getting new rares. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. Wait, that's our second Unleashed spell that's golden, I think. Shallow Grave could be cool. Technically, duplicates... Oh shit, another Legendary. Huh, Yogg. 
Not really Yogg, but close enough. Okay, Enchanter. Don't expect that to do much. And I'm pretty sure we have hit the cap on rares, so we're just gonna do this quickly now. Unless I see a card that I really want to talk about. Arcane Bolt for OTKs isn't going to be the hardest thing to set up, in my opinion. And then Ghostly Strike is good for future. I just don't know if there's enough spell damage right now. Okay, Outcast. I really do want to play an Outcast deck, but we'll see how that works. Okay. What I'm looking for, or the thing that I really wanted to talk about, I know, and it's common, and I know I already went over it a few times without saying anything. It's the six cost druid spell that revives things below uh, three cost, I think. And you could do something with L1 Boar. Figure out a way to just. Okay, legendary. There's. Oh, we're getting real lucky with the druids, it looks like. Okay, Scourge Tamer. It's actually kind of interesting that we saw Scourge Tamer, even though they're supposed to be the Blood Elf class, or a Blood Elf class. Okay. About 52 packs left, and I think we're actually ahead of schedule. <laughs> I don't really care too much about golden cards. I never have, to be honest. Unless they A, generate a card, or B, I don't have the non-golden card. Okay. Which is why I made some mistakes by disenchanting them in the past. But, like, if I need the dust, they're usually the first thing to go. Corpse Explosion could be fun. It's an interesting mechanic on a card. Animate Dead... Probably for Boar Priest, though it's not going to be that consistent. Though you could use it in combination with Scourge Rager, or even with Grave Digging to draw a few cards. I think that's really just a strictly worse version of the Warrior Draw card for each. For example, exactly what I was talking about, Fight of the Phoenix. Or it discounts by one per damage minion, and that's not hard to do in that deck. <laughs> Speaking of it again. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have a lot of dust from this, and I think I already have like 12k dust. I also have a shit ton of gold that I can just burn through. Let me know though. Well, I'll continue that thought later in the video. If you want a second pack opening, because I have a feeling I'm going to probably have to open up a bunch more packs just to try some decks out. Okay, uh, hang on. All right, I guess we're back. Uh, the fireside gathering that I had set up was for earlier in the day, and it didn't get fixed until later, so let's just continue. I don't even remember what- oh, wretched. I don't even remember what I was even talking about, to be honest, earlier. We have not actually got a single- huh. I would have assumed we would have maybe got a signature card just due to the fact that I'm pretty sure you can get them from normal packs and there's commons of them. Again, I don't mind. I think they're worse than golden cards to get. Because golden you can steal- oh shit, a legendary? Invincible? Okay. We see that uh, Nerubian again. This. I'm going to be amazed if people don't get this one in the 
druid legendary confused with each other. They almost look exactly the same. I know that kind of they're the same race, so that's They look very similar even in the artwork. Like you can tell because it'll be at the druid frame instead of the normal frame, but and I honestly think that one's better than the druid one. Mainly because the druid one requires you... No, it doesn't require you to... I think it does require you to run undeads. And that could be a good deck on its own, but we'll see. Not really a big fan of aggro anyways, so... I don't try to do aggro decks. Usually because games with aggro decks are like two minutes long. So, if I upload them, unless there's some weird twist to them to make them go longer. And that is a card that I really want to try out. I know we have, I don't know how many copies of it, but I really, really want to use it in something. Oh, perfect. Two epics. I'm really curious if a big uh, Death Rattle Shaman deck will become a deck. Because that looks like a lot of fun. I think it's one or two cards off from being really, really decent, but we shall see. Okay, 20 packs to go. I'd be fine with one more legendary. Second Shallow Grave, that's actually pretty good. Because it essentially doubles any death rattle that you actually have and if you have a way to give your minions additional death rattles it could be incredibly incredibly good I'm trying to think of what legendaries that i haven't gotten the scythe is one of the cards that i really want that we haven't gotten uh, I'm trying to think though is there something else oh the other warlock legendary Nice to give AoE to every class, too. Because we got Putricide. That was the main... Okay. Oh, that's going to be a real annoying card to deal with. I'm shocked if it doesn't get nerfed like week one. The epic, I mean. Because it just seems like a really good card if you're using Siren and Athrius in anything. It doesn't really even require that much setup, as long as you have a bunch of minions. Okay, okay, Rot Gut, or Gill. Now, I don't know how useful this minion in particular is going to be. There's going to be a lot of ways to duplicate the Battle Cry, and it does seem like... Oh, maybe a Murloc... Battle Cry, Death Rattle deck might be cool to try out. Because it technically got one new card, but there's ways to combine the two synergies together. And it's really curious to me why Blizzard decided it was a smart idea to give Shaman support for both of the most powerful keywords in the entire game. Being Battlecry and Death Rattle. We're just going to do these last back slow because we only have a few more packs we'll see how many we end up with i can't believe we got two legendaries in the same pack twice i i don't i haven't had that much oh we can finish on a legendary or well one off but still pretty close what is this going to be come on something cool Oh shit, another golden legendary and another golden one that I really wanted too. Oh man, this opening has been absolutely insane. Can we get another one? No, I I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay, now let's see how many cards that we got. Or legendaries, we'll, we'll count them. Holy shit, I don't... I can't believe we got that many. Okay... There's one legendary, two. I'm so glad we got that in golden. Three, four. 
Oh, we got both of the mage legendaries, which is nice. Now, I need to see. Okay, that was only two. Oh, and I forgot. So we have two here, two in druid. And then we got the one in paladin. That's five, right? Then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> 12. 12, right? 12. 13 legendaries in the set. Holy shit. I don't think I've had a better... The amount of luck that I had this time is absolutely insane. I can't believe it. I, I really can't. Let me know down below how well you or yours went. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.